Good morning. Lincoln and Judson and Elise and Connor and Carrie and Allie and Hunter and Sarah. We are ready for language 144. And it's pretty easy, kind of. You'll go be using a dictionary again. So let's get started. Lesson 144. Page 260. Let's jump in. We're doing page 216. Page 261 and then we'll be done. Think A. Many words have more than one meaning. The dictionary numbers the different meanings so that you can find them easily. One. Look at the underlying words in the sentences below and decide which part of speech and definition the word explains its meaning in the sentence. Number two, write the definition in the blank. Okay, so here's the deal. The first word they give you, the sentence is, the angry driver fumed at the traffic jam. If you look at the word fume in the dictionary, they will give you several definitions. And they're going to label it one, two, three, four. And all of these definitions are different definitions for the same word. Your job is to look up the word, and then choose the correct definition that the word is talking about in the sentence. Let me give you an example, okay? The word that's underlined in number one is fumed. What is the root word that we would look up in the dictionary? We cannot find fumed in the dictionary. We have to find the root word. What's the root word of fumed? Fume. Let's work with the word fume. All right, we will be using not our dictionaries, but we will be using our, actually, yes, we will be using our books. We will be using book dictionaries for Think A. You must be, you must use book dictionaries. All right. Let me give you an example. Okay, let's, so you, you, you should have your dictionaries. Start looking for the word few. Use your guide words, okay? I don't have any dictionaries here because I gave them all to you, so I'll be using the dictionary online. But you should be looking for the word fume. All right. Okay, something's not working. Got it. Sorry about that. You should find fume. So for this example, fume could mean vapor. This is definition number one. Vapor, gas, or smoke, especially if irritating, harmful, or strong. Number two, it could be a strong or or acrid, acrid odor. Number three, a state of resentment or vexation. Another one could be to subject to or treat with fumes. Uh, to give off in or as if in fumes. Let's read the sentence again. The angry driver fumed at the traffic jam. The, de the dictionary gives us several different definitions for the word fume. Your, dif your dictionary probably gives different ones than I have. That's fine. But for, this, for these three, vapor, gas, or smoke, especially if irritating, harmful, or strong. Is that what it's talking about? No, it's talking about how the driver is doing something. Okay, so we're gonna look underneath the verb. So they have different definitions for the noun form of fume, for the verb form of fume. We're gonna look at the verb form of fume. So the verb definition is to feel or show resentment or vexation. Vexation means to be angry. Would that make sense? Is that what the driver is showing here? So, in the blank, you would write, once you find fume, find a definition that works for the word fume. So, I would write, to feel or show resentment or vexation, because that's what the diction, that's what my dictionary tells me. That's what the word fume in this sentence is meaning. 
It does not mean vapor, gas, or smoke. It's meaning to feel or show anger. All right, let's try. Let's try another one. Look, for, look up the word contact. The next, the next sentence is, the storm broke off the ship's radio contact with the shore. What does it mean? I'm going to read some definitions to you. A coming together or touching as of objects or surfaces. Connection or interaction, communication. Or a connection between two conductors that permits a flow of current or heat. <laughs> so you should be reading the definitions in your dictionary. Pick out the best one that means what this word is saying. The storm broke off the ship's radio contact with the shore. What kind of contact is that talking about? Write the best definition you can find.